Hi, this is Alex Paul from Aspen Corps, and I'm here with my friend uh, Rich from Microchip. And, well, we were just talking about, and we'll send the link for that other video, we were at an event where they just released some new products, uh, but we're talking now about power. Power conversion is really moving forward in the world. Efficiency, it's all about efficiency and performance. Well, uh, efficiency, performance, reliability, power density, oh, and it's got to be free on top of it. Functional safety, that's the other piece. <laughs> and safe, right. Yes. Yes, they're all components of it. Very nice, Rich. Now, um, obviously, this is a play towards digital power because we're moving more into that space. Uh, managing power is more than just simply switching it on and hoping that the, re the, the resistors are set at the right values so that you, your converter is going to be doing what it's supposed to do because we've got dynamic loads, we've got dynamic everything. Everybody wants to save energy these days. And the traditional analog approaches, while good if you have one particular load in mind, most people don't have just one particular load. It changes. The ability to adapt very quickly and efficiently is the whole key to this. And that's what this pr product is actually uh, providing solutions for today. Right. So now, okay, I'm, I'm driving my, my FETs. I've got my power system. I'm monitoring my motors. What does this do to help me and my system? This system has a dual core implementation. That is two DSPICs, a master and a slave. The nice part about that is the slave can be optimized to focus, focus its full CPU performance on nothing but the algorithms it's trying to drive, whether it be a motor type or whether it be power conversion. The master is a communication, a watchdog. It keeps an eye on things. It, it, it monitors diagnostics and things of that nature. It also supports live update if you wish to update your firmware real time uh, at some point in the future. Well, you know, and that's one of the things that I think of when I think of this is, as uh, Industry 4.0 really becomes real, as it were, the ability for a device to not only do its job, but then talk to the system, it will start creating uh, traffic roadblocks. It, it absolutely will. So the ability to communicate effectively real time, the ability to upgrade real time, the ability to optimize your algorithms, to be able to control more than one motor at one time, while at the same time you're doing power factor correction, all those factors are playing into a single solution device now. So now, uh, walk us through this demonstration that you have here and what it, the functionality it's demonstrating to us. Okay. Uh, what you have here on the right is first a, a motor driver board that drives the actual motor itself, obviously the motor. You have a Curiosity board, which has the dual-core DSPIC on it. We have a couple of small graphics plugged into the micro uh, microelectronica slots or sockets on the board. The color graph represents the, uh, the master. The, uh, the other one represents the slave, which is controlling the motor. And there should be some uh, statistics on that display showing RPM. You can turn it up or you can turn it down, and it should reflect that real-time capability while it's moving forward. Just to demonstrate the dual-core nature, the cores operate independently. So if for some reason I'm hitting a button, you can see where the uh, master actually goes blank. Maybe a watchdog timer is triggered. Maybe it's doing a firmware upgrade. You can see the motor is still spinning because the slave is still controlling it. And it boots back up, and you're back in business with both motors. Well, and that's great because if I am running a smart factory and I do want to upload something into the system, I don't have to worry about everything shutting down in, the mid, in midstream. It'll keep running. And the nice part about this device, it has memory protection called Code Guard. It also, so, so that will also protect your IP on that side of it. And it can be a very secure connection. Well, and that's the other side of the coin, obviously, because in a, in a smart factory, you're worried about any kind of intrusion, so this will protect you from some of that. It will protect you from some of that. Depending on what level of security you want, you can connect peripheral devices to it. Microchip offers a product uh, called the EEC 508 that will do secure provisioning. It's a companion part to this, so it'll allow for uh, authentication and verification that you're communicating with the right device when you're connecting. Well, and considering this is just a really big DSP engine, I could use this for sensor processing or any kind of signal processing, right? You've got two DSP engines, so you can throw a lot more horsepower at it as you move forward. Very nice. Um, again, any features that I forgot to ask about or something you wanted to leave with our audience before we closed out on this one? I think we covered many of the points. I, I think the benefit of a dual-core solution, it allows distributed programming. So if you're a company that has specialists, they can work independently of each other, and they can both maximize the resources for more efficient integration later on. Very nice. Um, and is there a deep dive page on the website? Just go to Microchip and find it. There is a link. It's it's in the press kit that will show. I'll put it on the. I'll put it on the write up for this, and we'll make sure that our audience will be able to find it. Okay. Very good. Thank you for spending time with us today. Thank you for spending time with me, Rich.